Beep, beep, everyone. 1990 Swell Baseball Greats. We're going to open a wax box of these that I found at an antique mall a couple weeks ago. Uh, this box cost me $15. Uh, I don't know much about this product. Uh, I did not see this product when I was... Uh, younger actually i was out of high school by then and in college so i never saw this in the stores this was sort of on the tail end of my collecting experience from my youth and i had uh taken a long hiatus probably around 93 onward until just last year in fall of 2021 so before we begin Purple plastic toilet likes to make an appearance. A little boop, boop, Nathan the gnome's nose. And the word of the day is lava. So I offer you this sentence using that word. Lava made me the trash truck and the double bubble ink blot I am. If you have a sentence that you'd like to share using the word lava, you're welcome to put it in the comments. I know that's kind of weird, but this is a weird channel, and it's why we're called Pachycardopotamus. So here's what they look like. And I guess uh, I'm not going to worry about trying to fold that up. We will say, I will save this box, though. These are not a very expensive set. I don't know how many of these were produced. There are 36 packs in a box. And 10 cards per, per pack. So there's a good chance we, we may be able to complete the set just by opening these up. Uh, I've never opened them up before. Never saw a video myself about opening them up. Um, there's an offer to get those plastic pages to put them in. And distributed by Philadelphia Chewing Gum Corporation in, I believe that's Newtown, PA. No, it's Havertown, PA. Okay. And I have seen the 1989 set and... It is mostly uh, old timers, and those packs opened up pretty nicely. So I'm gonna put that aside, and we'll get start get digging into this. So there's Hannes Wagner. Well, they don't really they stick together a little bit. So Hannes Wagner, the swell logo, and this is what the backs of them look like. Okay, here's Bill White. This is going to take a while. They don't, they don't have very smooth <laughs> surfaces to slide on. Gee whiz. That I wasn't expecting. There's Andre Thornton. Oh boy, this is going to slow down the video trying to get these. Vita Blue, back when he was with the A's. Uh, there's somebody I don't know, Rod Cannell. Can so what's the deal with Rod Cannell? Lifetime stats, <laughs> 241 hitter, 340 games, played for the 62 to 64 Mets. So that's an interesting selection. There's Warren Spahn. There's Lee May. Oh my goodness. Tom Tresh. Hall of Famer Whitey Ford. And Walt Dropo. Don Kessinger. Great fielding shortstop, mostly for the Cubs, I believe. 
Uh, I think he played with the White Sox, too. Uh, there's uh, Hall of Famer Babe Ruth. Dick Grote. Joe Garagiola. Al Bumbry. Tris Speaker. And Tris has got a card stuck to his back. They're not actually like sticking. It seems more like <laughs> the surfaces of these are not really smooth. Boog Pal, and it keeps me from sliding the cards along. There's Hall of Famer Lou Boudreau. And Hall of Famer Robin Roberts, pictured with a Cubs uniform. And Bob Gritch, back when he was with the Orioles. The condition looks pretty good. Um... Ron Santo, Hall of Famer. Marv Throneberry. Ken Forsh. I see a little bit of fraying on some of the edges, but the corners look sharp. The surfaces look really clean. Tom Seaver. Johnny Mize. Hall of Famer Ty Cobb. Ralph Gar. Who remembers Ralph Gar? I think he, uh, he won a batting title in the 70s. Grover Cleveland Alexander. <laughs> Looking kind of stumped there. Bob Feller. And Billy Herman. So this is my first time opening up an entire wax box. So hopefully I'll get this, get through this quickly oh my goodness I do not like it that they're yeah that that's stuck to a card there okay I mean it's not no paper loss or anything like bricking Bobby Thompson Hall of Famer Mickey Cochran and that is misspelled there should be an E on the last on his last name, it ends with an E. There's Hall of Famer Lou Gehrig. Darren Johnson. Al Rosen. Fritz Peterson. I think he pitched during the 60s. Lenny Randall, I remember him briefly. Charlie Keller. And Hall of Famer Walter Johnson, followed by Eddie Lopat. There's Hall of Famer Rod Carew. And Mickey Lolich. Frankie Crosetti. Hall of Famer Roberto Clemente. Casey Stengel, Manny Mota, who remembers Manny Mota? Oh, Manny, you're sticking to somebody behind you. Hall of Famer Eddie Matthews, there's Harvey Haddix, uh, Ken Brett, brother of George, and Hall of Famer Ralph Kiner. There's Don Drysdale, and there's a nice crease along the top of that one, and along the side, apparently. At least I think that's a crease. It could be a... No, nah, it looks like it's, a, it's just a surface crease. Rick Farrell. Hall of Famer Rogers Hornsby. Don Clendenin. Cesar Cedeno. So we've got a nice mix of uh, cards here. It's just hard to get them apart. I don't want to ruin the edges. Mel Ott. Tommy Agee. Or is that Agee? I think it's Agee. Harry Walker. 
I thought I'd get through this quickly enough, but there's always something stumble str I struggle with. Monty Irvin and Hall of Famer Lou Brock. There's Davy Johnson. Don Cardwell. Don't remember him. He played from 57 to 70 for five clubs. Hall of Famer Dizzy Dean. Tommy Hutton. <laughs> so this is kind of a mixed bag of car players here. Roy White. There's Pete Vukovic. Look at, check out that hair. There's Gaylord Perry when he was with the Indians. Steve Stone. Very early in his career. Hall of Famer Lefty Gomez. And there's one more behind him. There we go. Carl, Carl Yastrzemski. So, so far, we've gone quite, through quite a through, through cards here and haven't had any duplicates yet. Johnny LeMaster. <laughs> That's a curious selection. And Julio Cruz. Weak hitting second baseman, but he, he could run. Hall of Famer Billy Williams. Hall of Famer Lefty Grove. Hall of Famer Larry Doby. Sal Bando, Hall of Famer Orlando Cepeda. Oh, my goodness. And there's Herb Score, Hall of Famer Luke Appling, Enrico Petroselli. Okay. All right, we've seen Honus before. Wish there was a way I could get these cards to move through a little easier. Bill White, Andre Thornton. Okay, these are all duplicates from our first pack. Vita Blue, Rod Cannell, Warren Spahn, Lee May, <laughs> Tom Trash, Whitey Ford, and Walt Tropa. So that's an exact collation order that was in that very first pack so let's see all right all right we've already seen ron santo throneberry forsh siever mize cobb gar uh, so this is an exact run of a previous pack alexander Feller and Herman. So hopefully we'll run into some newer player cards we haven't seen yet. All right, this one we haven't seen. Larry Sorensen. He kind of looks like he's spaced out, so I gotta separate that and put in my put that in my spaced out collection. There's Hall of Famer Ed Roush. Hall of Famer Hank Aaron. Jim Northrup. Sal Megley. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh my goodness. Hall of Famer F Frank. No, that's not Joe Torrey. That's Frank Torrey. Played from 56 to 63. Anyone know if he's uh, related to Joe Torrey? He might be. I'll have to look him up. George Bamberger. Oh, boy. Jeez. I don't want to... The, the, the way these are stuck together makes me worried I'm going to damage the edges trying to pry them apart. 
Enos Slaughter, Don Newcomb, and Carl Erskine. Okay, Bobby Thompson we've seen before. Mickey Cochran with the spelling error. We've seen Lou Gehrig and Darren Johnson. I don't think we've seen Al Rosen before. Maybe we did because we have seen Fritz Peterson. And Lenny Randall and Charlie Keller and Walter Johnson and Eddie Lo Oh, great. So that duplicates another pack. And I think this one does too. All right, let me let that straighten out there. Rod Carew, Frankie Corsetti, Roberto Clemente, Stengel, Mota, Matthews, Haddix, Ken Brett, and. Oh, come on. <laughs> and Ralph Kiner. All right, this one also duplicates another pack I can tell from the back. But this time we have a Don Drysdale without a crease. Well, that's good. It's Rick Farrell, Rogers Hornsby, Don Clendenin, Sedano. Ah, oh, Mel, you fell down. Melot. Pardon me if there was a desk quake. Tommy Agee, or Iggy, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Harry Walker, Monty Irvin, and Lou Brock. So, Davy Johnson, Don Cardwell. We've seen these before. Dizzy Dean, Tommy Hutton. Roy White, Pete Vukovic. You know, he kind of looks spaced out a little bit in that photo. I think I'm going to put him in the spaced out pile. Gaylord Perry. Very young Steve Stone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lefty Gomez and Carl Yastrzemski. So let me double check something here. I did look this up briefly. This is a 135 card set. 1990. And so we have not seen all of them yet, but we're starting to see a lot of duplicates. Uh, there's Johnny LeMaster again, so we've seen him and Julio Cruz. So I'm just going to... Yep, these are all duplicates from an earlier pack, so we'll get through these a little quicker. We've seen Whitey Ford before. Lefty Grow, Sal Bando. So this is another another group of duplicates. We've seen Robin Roberts before. Bill White, Rod. Kin this is kind of a little bit of a different order. Bob Gritch, because the the uh, the first pack started with Honus Wa Hannes Wagner. Sorry, but these are all cards we've seen before Don Kessinger you know we've seen all these before so this is going to make this a shorter video if these are all duplicating each other there's a exact match from our first pack so the collation in these are just terrible We've seen all of them before. And there's Bob Gritch on the back again. 
we just went through this like a just a couple packs ago. Ay 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 ay. There's Ron Santo again. Through Billy Herman. We can push that back there now. There's Larry Sorensen again. Looks like there's some kind of a stain up there. <laughs> Hope that's not poop. <laughs> Let's put that one off here. And I'm not sure I want to do a sniff test on that. Again, these are all cards we've seen before. Well, this is not turning out to be as much fun as I thought it would be. These are all duplicates. Holy crap. Jeez. Rod Carew again. Through Ralph Kiner. Well, this is, we're going to get through this a lot sooner than I thought we would. I thought this would be like a 45 minute video or 50. Don Drysdale again. These are all, we've already seen all them before. And there's Rico Petroselli again. Davy Johnson, Dizzy Dean, Roy White. Lefty Gomez and Carly Ostremski again. <sighs> All right. This pack has some new people we have not seen before. There's Johnny Padres on the back. So Gil Hodges. Bert Campaneris. Dave LaRoche. Master of the Ephus pitch. Rusty Staub. Oh, man. Here we go with the cards sticking to each other. Oh, man. I just bent Rusty Staub trying to keep that card from falling out. Well, it's not too bad. Holy crap. Here's a checklist. Set contains 135 cards. So here's your 64 to 135 if you want to pause and look at it. And here's the front. That's cards 1 through 63. So as you can see, I think uh, I think we got just about everything from the first 63. Uh, there's definitely some, some stuff on this side that we haven't seen yet hall of famer christy mathewson ed charles that's a name i'm not familiar with played with the kansas city a's from 62 to 67 and then the mets for up to 69 bud harrelson hall of famer ernie banks there's Johnny Padres. Let's see if we can get some new stuff in this pack. It looks like we can. Well, there's Don Kessinger. <clears throat> We've seen him before, but we haven't seen Mark Fidrich, the bird, bird man. <laughs> uh, and he's stuck to somebody. All right, he's stuck to Elliot Maddox. Curious selection they've got here. They've got great players and players I'm not sure have ever been associated with the word great. Jimmy Pearsall, Milt Pappas. Oh my goodness. Getting these apart is really something else. Johnny Vandermeer, Hall of Famer Cy Young. There's Hall of Famer Satchel Page. Oh my goodness. 
Ralph Branca, and Manny Sanguian. All right, it looks like we've seen these before. Yep, all duplicates. Be nice to end this video with uh, some cards we haven't seen. There's Larry Sorensen again. Again, these are all we've seen all these before. And Bobby Thompson again. So I could see why <laughs> this product didn't take off. Their collation really leaves something to be desired. There's Carew again, and that's Ralph Kiner on the end. And Don Drysdale again. Yeah, we've seen all these before, and that's uh, Lou Brock on the back. Yeah, the collation is terrible in this. Yep. And we finish off with more more stuff that we've seen before. Johnny Lamaster. That's the one of the weirdest choices I can think of to put under baseball greats. I mean, look at his lifetime statistics. A 222 batting average. Over a thousand games. And the last card is Rico Petroselli, which we've seen before. So, uh, Swell came out with uh, three baseball great sets 1989, 1990, which we have just seen, and 1991. The first two years were 135 card sets. The last year was 150. I have not seen any 1991s, but I have seen a lot of 1989s. And in fact, I have a, a factory sealed 1989 Swell Baseball Great set, which I may consider opening up in the future on, on camera. And that's it. That was the end. They only did it for three years during the junk wax era. Um, on the back it says Philadelphia Chewing Gum Corporation, copyright CMC, and probably the two most interesting cards are these two spaced out dudes, both with the Brewers, called in. <laughs> headlights i guess but they're they'll they'll be added to my spaced out collection uh i'll sort through the rest at some point um so i can't recommend getting this <laughs> it's there it's a cheap set i don't know if they were mass produced like all the other big companies were uh these guys entered the market when i guess you know the big everyone was going nuts over cards and the big companies uh were producing this these in, uh, immense uh quantities that i don't know how a little company like this would have would have fared well in the long run um the designs you know it kind of reminds me of like 81 and 82 Fleer. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And by 1990, uh, they should have had something better by then. Anyway, the, coll the collation in this is terrible. There's a lot of stars in it. it. It's nothing expensive. I got it for just 15 bucks. I thought, let's take a shot at it. Um... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, hope you all have a great day. Uh, hope I didn't bore you with this product that we just kept on seeing the same stuff over and over. I mean, I tried to get through that quickly because there's no sense 
looking at five Johnny LeMasters in a row. Uh, take care, everyone. Beep, beep. <laughs>